Hello, my name is Neil Fitzgerald from the British Library and I'm going to talk about the Impact Toolbox for Let's Can Build In which is available through the Central Competence website www.digitisation.eu The toolbox is intended to produce Lexica for Optical Character Recognition or OCR and Information Retrieval. Within the project the tools and methods have been applied for nine different languages. Historical language is a challenge for both OCR and retrieval. Two simple examples from Dutch give an indication of the kind of historical language variation we are up against. A few orthographical rules would suffice to account for a large part of the variation encountered in the top example. This example also makes clear that for longer words it's not realistic to list all variants extensively in the lexicon with reasonable effort. Accounting for the variants in terms of orthographical rules is less obvious for the second example. Many variants are largely unpredictable and can only be dealt with by listing them in the lexicon. This is why both linguistic modeling and extensive data development are essential to deal with historical language. Lexicon building makes no sense when there is no correlation between the built lexica and the material they will be applied to. It is important to keep this in mind. During impact, an institutional data set with representative text collections from each content holder's collection was created. Linguistic tools such as information retrieval software, name density recognizers, and part of speech taggers are needed to process this text data. Many of these tools need to be adapted for historical language use. They also need to be robust in order to deal with, amongst other things, OCR errors. Apart from this, it is useful to be able to evaluate the impact of an historical lexicon in OCR. In order to do this, we need ground truth text. Ground truth text is data without OCR errors, or at least 99.95% correct on character level, which is less than 5 errors per 1000 characters. Having both an OCR text and its corresponding ground truth version, we can model the behavior of OCR errors. Furthermore, we can determine the upper performance limit for the linguistic tools and finally, we can evaluate the impact of adding an historical lexicon in OCR. Ground truth material is also very useful as a source for perfect word lists, word engram lists, and named entity lists. In impact, part of the ground truth material was used for lexicon building. OK, let's look at Dutch in more detail. The ground truth corpus was made out of a selection of files and ground truth based on the following criteria. It should contain enough data to model spelling variation and other variations such as OCR misrecognitions. It should contain enough data to train linguistic tools. It should reflect diversity in the text data to measure the impact of factors such as genre, time period, etc. Digitization for the KB is focused on the 18th, 19th and early 20th century, so the corresponding ground truth corpus should only contain text um, from, this, from that period. Each D3 subcorpora contains a gold standard set. This means that for each file in the set, a manually verified named entity tag version is available. These gold standard sets function as training and evaluation material for the name density recognition tool. The rest of the subcorpus is randomly picked from the text not already present in the gold standard set. Newspapers 1 contains articles of running text, whereas Newspapers 2 contains ads. Page images were rekeyed manually. The service provider delivered a 13.1 million word corpus in about two months with average character accuracy above 99.95%. There are different sources from which lexicon building may start such as these listed with th their requirements. 
Keep in mind that it's preferable to be using material that's not restricted by IPR concerns to maximise future reuse. Historical corpora can be used for lexicon content as well as the electronic historical dictionaries of which not only the lemmas can be used but also the material in the citations. Modern lexica can be used when a set of patterns describing the relation between historical and present day orthography is available. In the lexicon useful retrieval for the purpose of better word lookup, to each historical word form a modern lemma is attached. This lemma, in combination with part of speech, is the key under which variants are grouped. The lemma is not a version of the historical word form in the text in modern spelling, but an uninflected modern form corresponding to the historical word form, as one would find in a traditional dictionary entry. Key for this task is that these modern lemmas are written according to the current orthographical rules of your language. Not all historical words of a language have survived. In these cases, the modern lemma is reconstructed, meaning that linguistic rules are applied to create a modern lemma as it most probably would have looked like if the word had survived today. The lemmatization is based on emetological grounds, not on semantic grounds. Additional detail regarding this is provided in the lexicon cookbook. The lexica need to be tailored to the intended use. They need to allow for specialization to date periods and contain frequency information and should be suitable for information retrieval. Note, a lexicon can never be complete. Spelling variation rules can be used to predict possible historical variants of words not in the lexicon. For impact, a tool has been developed to automatically derive spelling variation rules from historical language data. The core objects in the lexicon structure developed for impact are word forms, lemmas and documents. All other objects define some kind of relation between these. It's impossible to extract all word forms from the limited amount of a fable re reliably transcribed historical text. Hence, mechanisms to extend the lexicon and to enable us to assess the plausibility of hypothetical words without previous attestations, i.e. words we have not seen before were needed. Supporting data for these mechanisms is also provided. Attestation objects, such as quotations, are linked to each labelled or unlabeled word form. These are basically verified occurrences in documents. The attestations enable us to derive the relevant applicability information from document properties. When a word form is taken from a lexicon or dictionary, or when it originates from automatic e analysis expansion, provenance is tracked. Since the computational linguistic tools are developed within the context of a European project focusing on mass digitization of a historical text, they are language independent whenever possible and able to quickly process large quantities of data. The fact that linguistic modeling cannot account for all variants highlights that the tool should be part of lexicon development workflow involving both automatic and manual processing. See www.digitisation.eu for further information or help desk support.